A controversial new development on Madison's west side has hit a roadblock, even though construction is almost done. Arman Rahman talked to the unhappy neighbors and the city. He breaks down the uncertain future for the apartment building. This mixed-use apartment building on Madison's west side is almost complete, but that hasn't stopped nearby residents from taking their displeasure with the city all the way to the Dane County Circuit Court. It doesn't belong here. Other neighbors thought so, too. A group of five petitioners argued the building on Speedway Road was too large for the neighborhood plan. They also say the city allowed other zoning violations, including insufficient parking for the 31 apartment units. They allowed an out that the city could do anything they wanted, regardless of the neighborhood plan. Wasn't like a variance. We have to prove a hardship. They could just make that decision. Ultimately, the Dane County judge only agreed with the violation about parking. Because the developer had planned to put 24 parking stalls for 31 units underground, the judge ruled that plainly violates zoning ordinances that a commercial block building needs to have parking at the back and side and vacated the conditional use permit. The plan commission didn't document um, their findings for why the conditional use met the requirements for the parking. This does not address the concerns of the neighbors. No, as you can see, the building is constructed. It is up. It is not going to be demolished. The older for the district, Regina Vidivers, says putting housing in more dense neighborhoods is necessary to combat climate change. This will be market rate housing, yes. We need to have walkable, dense communities so that people have less need to rely on single op occupancy vehicles. I get that we need probably a lot of low income housing. This isn't that with a view of the lake over the golf course, are you kidding me? But neighbors still think the developer got off easy. I think they get uh, treated with kid gloves. They win, we lose. I reached out to the developer, Brandon Cook, with John Fontaine Realty for comment, and I've yet to hear back. In Madison, Armand Rama, News 3 Now. City Attorney Michael Haas tells News 3 Now, as rare as this is for a nearly finished building, the developer was told they violated the zoning ordinance for parking and will have to apply for a new conditional use permit. But he says the judge's decision doesn't invalidate the process or change how they interpret parking regulations in the future.